Here we go, back again with another video. And after yesterday's 1 1 draw against the Burra, are we ahead of this time last year after 30 games? I'll ask you that now. 30 games, how many points did we have this time last year? We've got 44 right now. Have we progressed under the model with KLD and Speakman compared to this time last year? This is going to be a very debatable subject, a very debatable subject indeed. With 16 games to go, this time last season, we ended the season with six wins, six draws, and four defeats. That's not bad. When we haven't been doing too well under Beal, they've had that old chestnut of saying, we're ahead of this time last season. But are we ahead of this time last season now after the Burra draw? With six wins, six draws and four defeats, that's a total of six times three. 18. Six times one. Six. And wait for it. 18 plus six equals. Twenty-four points. There we have it. Are we ahead of this time last year? I'll let you know in a bit. Have we got a better squad this time than last year? We had a mad Gooch, Danny Bath, Mishu, and I can't think of any others. Of course, Pritchard. But now we have youngsters coming in. Hey, LG did really well. We've got the young lad, Leo from Leeds. The left back, had, I thought he had a good game. I thought for his first game, only a week, less than a week, being training with the lads, I thought he linked up really well, like a natural with Jack Clark. I really did. I was impressed with his performance. Yes, he missed a pass, but most of our team do. So this time last year, we'd won 12, we'd drawn nine, we'd lost nine. At this moment in time, we've won 13, We've drawn five and we've lost 12. You do the maths. 44 points this season. We had 45 points this time last season. So we are now one point behind this time last season. So do you think we've progressed? In one year, have we progressed? Let me know in the comments down below. What's your thoughts about that? Should we have a climb up there? Yes, have we progressed? Well, are we climbing up the progression ladder? Or in your eyes, are we steadily going downhill? Lots of fallen trees here, been sliced in two. We really do miss a mad this season. Has the team changed much? Now here's the team that we played against West Bromwich Albion. We went to the Hawthorns and we won 2 1 with a Circan winner. And also the team that beat Preston on the final day of the season, 3 0, comfortably to get into the playoffs. And what's your thoughts on the team compared to the team right now? As you can see, vast open space. Not a soul about. Absolutely amazing. Right, so last year's team. Patterson in goal, not changed. Hume, right back, not changed. We've changed the left back. Sergan's injured, unfortunately. So we brought the new lad Leo in. So for me, it could be similar. But Sergan has been injured for a while now, two or three times he's been injured. So whether or not, I don't know if he'll ever get better 
ever get fixed, we'll have to wait and see. What's up here? More deer in the distance. More deer in the distance. They're away. We're catching them. So this time last year, Patterson in goal, Gooch right back, Hume and Danny Bath with 09 coming in when Bath got injured, the centre backs. Cirk on his left back. Ekwan Neil in the middle of the park. Then we had Ahmad in front in the, the Pritchard kind of role. Then we had Clark and Roberts and Gelhardt up top. Has it changed much in your opinion? This season we've changed from a 4-2-3-1 to a 4-1-4-1. Now is a 4-1-4-1 basically the same as 2-3-1 4-2-3-1 you can change it are we asking too much of the likes of Neil and Ekwai to play the Horden taking turns first it was Ekwai now it's Neil playing the Holden midfield role they're both not Holden midfielders we probably need to change something in this side to balance it out better we're getting there We've got a bit more to go to go to get to the top and we'll see where we are when we get to the top. Right, let's do it. <laughs> if you're enjoying me being lost in the woods, then don't forget if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give this video a like. Give it a like if you're enjoying the content. Be much appreciated. Come up this way. We'll see how it goes. Never been up here before, like I said. There is deep up here. As you can see it's a long way down. A long way down. Let's keep on heading up. And we'll see, we'll see up here together. We'll do it together. I'll try and be as quiet as possible. There's too many branches breaking. Woods. Gelhart, is he better than Burstow? Ruchen. If you had the choice, who would you have? Personally, I think I'd rather have Ruchen over Gelhart and Burstow in the side. Now we've lost a mad, and in that position we've got Job again, for me, a step backwards, but we don't have much choice in that. Now I think to balance out the team, we need to move one or two people around. If we need that holding midfielder, I would think we move Luke or Nine into that position, bring in Silt to the centre back position, put Job on the bench because he needs that. You know, end of the day, well deserved rest. He needs to rest. He looks tidy. He, he seems to not be in the game much. So for me, we carry in one or two players like Burstow and like Job at this moment in time. So that's my changes I would make. I think if we had that hold in midfielder and let Ekwa and Dan Neil, you know, go forward, show a bit of creativity, that's what they're best at. And I think for the last 16 games, 
we need to try something different. If we don't try something different, we won't get in the top six. Simple as. Again, that's my opinion. So we finished last season with the last 16 games, we got 24 points. That's quite good to be fair. I'm gonna ask you the question now. Look through the fixtures yourself. How many points do you think we can accumulate out of them fixtures? I think we can get a good run of games going. We can get close to that total, but I think we'll just fall shy. Some difficult games away at the Leeds, away at the Leicester, away at the Southampton. Three massive games there in itself. Sorry, Leicester at home. Go round over that. There's like a some sort of drop here. What the hell is this? I have to get across this somehow. Hopefully it's not too deep. I'm sure, the D are getting across okay. It's not too bad. We'll get across here, I think. Probably the best way. So next game oh, is against Plymouth at home. Now Plymouth's a difficult team. They seem to score goals, got the first away win, the first away win of the season at the weekend. So well done, the Green Army. Play the games at home park. Got the first win, away win of the season. So they're coming into this game on Saturday on form. Now I'm going to say, I'm going to have to believe that we can get three points out of that game. And to be fair, we've got to, if we want any stand, any chance of getting anywhere near close to the points of last season. So yeah, it's got to be three points. Do we have to go on the, the cliff edges? I don't know. You can see it's uh, quite quiet and the time's getting on. I better get a move on here, like. So come on, let me know your comments down below. Are we worse than we were this time last year? Have we improved from the Speakman? Speakman says he's addressed the age situation. Now is the age actual situation? It's only a situation where you can't make money on all the players, but if you've got younger players in, then you can. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to build up a squad of young players to sell on and always have this con, you know, this, this rotating, this rotating door of young players in, building them up, selling them on, young players in, building them up, selling them on. Does that eventually get you in the Premier League though? Depends if you reinvest more of that money. If you can reinvest more of that money, then buy younger, probably more expensive players that can get more money in the long run, like a leapfrog type situation, then eventually you may end up like Brentford and Brighton and teams like that who tried to do that, who did that and made it to the Premier League. Not here at all. So yeah. Now we've got a squad of all young players. Speakman, KLD. Speakman's done the job KLD wanted them to do. Now he's got a whole squad of young players, apart from possibly Luke 09, who will be coming to his probably end of Sunderland's career next season, I reckon. I kind of think he's the next one out the door, Luke 09, and that'll be next season at some point. But they won't see it just yet. They'll wait until he'll start to make one or two mistakes, or if this season doesn't go as well, he could be made the scapegoat, which is harsh, because I like the lad. I don't think he's a Premier League player in the making, of course. I think he's, you know, he's a mid-table championship player for me, at best. Right. 
I'm not sure how far we am from a path. It'll start to get pretty dark soon. So I'm going to get a move on. I'll start getting a bit of a jog on. A bit of exercise done. And we'll see you back at the studio. Let's see you in a bit. Ooh. No. Bit of fun guy there. We like to get nowhere near, anywhere near a friggin' path. I've been in these woods about fucking 45 minutes to an hour now. I'm about to find a way out soon. I don't know, I'm fucking climbing up there again, do I? I'm gonna have to get on there and climb up there to get round or just go straight down that way. Fuck. Fuck. There's no way through that bastard. Oh. I have to go around again, I think. Oh. Oh. Possibly maybe it's that way down. Oh, fuck it. Just came up that way as well. I think. Um. Bye. Now, let's hope there's a way down here, otherwise I'm fecked. Fucking hell. Now we're getting there, hopefully. We'll get up, let's get down here. Seems to be a not too much of a, a drop. I get over there, I was. I'm just going to try and jump that, I think. It's a bit better to jump over here. It's a way down now. Hopefully this is it. Well, I'm out. I'm out. I'm fixed for that. Whew. Well, right. I'm safe and sound. Well, you know, it's not as safe as it gets. I'm going to go and finish off my run now. And we'll see you back at the studio. <laughs> Second time lucky. <laughs> Oh, hell, I could have gone for ages. Could have gone for ages up there. Happy days. <laughs> well, I made it back safe and sound, as you can see. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Are we better off this time this season than we were last season? Clearly, we're not on points. And we may not end up in a better position overall. But in the long term, are we better off with this young squad, the young team? Can we do the revolving door, make money, progress and get better and better and sustainability? Or do you think it's just a cash cow for the, for, the, for the owners to make money, to keep the money and we'll end up staying in the championship for a long, long time to come? It's a catch-22, isn't it? It's catch-22. But we want to be in the Premier League next season. Yes, we do. <laughs> some of us do anyway, some of us don't. I know it's going to be a bit too soon, clearly. But I don't mind going up, coming back down. If you make 100 million going up, 100 million coming back down. To make 100 million going back up again. Does that work? Well, anyway, let's look at this. Let's look, let's look at how many games is to go. 16 games to go. And this is my rundown of points accumulation we'll get in those games. Like I said, 24 points in the last 16 games last season. Under Michael Beale, I think we are worse off than last season. That's just my opinion. Plymouth, home, three points. Huddersfield away is the next game. I'm going to go for one point. Birmingham away, one point. Swansea at home, three points. Norwich away, zero points. Leicester at home, 
zero points. Southampton away, zero points. QPR at home, three points. Cardiff away, one point. Blackburn at home, one point. Bristol City at home, three points. Then a defeat to Leeds West Brom. Millwall, three points at home. Away to Watford, zero. Sheffield, Wednesday at home, three. I'm going to say 22 points. Of course, I want 48 points. Of course. It goes without saying. And I'll predict a victory every single goddamn game. But in the cold light of day, 22 points is the total I think we will amass in the last 16 games. Let me know what total you think you think we're going to get under Michael Beale. If we need to progress on to next season, I do believe we need a proper head coach and someone, you know, with a bit a bit more than Michael Beale's got. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to throw him under the bus again. You know, I'm not trying to... Well, you know, I don't want him at the club, to be fair. <laughs> I, I, I know we support him. As we, we, we do. We support him as he's here. And we hope, we hope we can get 48 points out of the last 16 games. But I think we'll be looking to get 22. But there we go. 24 points last season. 22 this season. I think we'll finish outside of the playoffs. Let me know your thoughts. Are we going backwards? Actually, we're going forwards. But do we have to go backwards to go forwards? Which I mean, do we have to finish outside the top six and only inside the top ten this season to actually reel them in next season by progressing this young squad forward? Let me know your thoughts. Take care. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video where I'll be doing the LU Soccer Reveal. Thank you. And we'll see you later.